All right, guys, this is Doug Farrego, um, and this is for my DPC people only, or uh, for my homies in the county in cell box six. <clears throat> if you can get that reference, yes, I'm wearing something casual today. It's Friday. We do do casual Fridays. Most of the time I wear nice sweaters or ties and such. If someone wants to be picky about what I wrote in my book, people have. Now, I got this gray hair for a reason. I've been around for a while. I've seen about 120,000 patients in my career. I'm in my 20th year of medicine, in my fourth year of DPC. I want to discuss a little bit about something I talked about in a blog post about people trying to sell us and use us DPC people. I'm going to go back to that incident at the end, but I'm going to explain some other ones. So, for example, when I first started, I used to have people come pretending to be patients, and all of a sudden they were from the news or a magazine, and they were selling me something. It took everything in my power not to want to jump across my desk and just punch them in the face. I didn't, um, but I got caught on to these things. The other ones were people selling me ridiculous things uh, from magazines, or they were going to do a story about us, but it really was pay for play, and that's a joke and unethical. Um, another example is what I call Smelly Man. Smelly Man was somebody who came out from during when we first started. My wife was working in, at the front desk. It was hot. He came from a workout, and he was disgustingly sweaty and smelly, sitting at the front desk trying to tell my wife he's going to be a patient. Oh, but he turns out he's going to sell her Google ads. He never became a patient, but he's just an example. We use the word Smelly Man when we, when we see a solicitor. We know what that means. We have on our door, no soliciting, something you may want to think about. Don't buy things you don't know about. Run it by the people in this DPC group. Not a bad idea. We'll all answer for you. It turns out most marketing fails tremendously. Pay to play is horrific. A news story about you is great if it's genuine. Facebook is still great if you can get that right and be regular with it. Every three or four days, spend $100 a month on, on ads. So I'm all for that, but you got to be smart. The other people that are trying to use us are brokers. I had some guy come in who was going to bring me all these patients. Turns out I didn't need all these patients. I've been filled for about a year, but he had all these patients he was going to bring me. He just wanted to be paid, uh, I think it was like five or ten dollars a month per patient forever. I'm like, dude, I'm not paying you that money. We went back and forth and all of a sudden he would never answer emails again. These brokers for lack of a better word, I'll keep this nice, low lifes, all right, scumbags. Um, you have to be very careful of them. Now, I've been in other businesses, and I've done other things in my life other than medicine, so I have a little experience on some of these other garbage that goes on. So what happened, at what I put in that post about this company that wanted me to be advisor. So I, I, I'm always curious, and I know that they're going to tap into other DPC docs. What I immediately did is went to my friends and asked if they've been asked as well, and one, actually two, have, by now have. But this guy said, we really want you on board, and you can read what I wrote. And it was intriguing enough for me to say, okay, I'm too old to work for free. What, how am I going to be compensated? Oh, that's a great point. Let's bring you to our, uh, our basically, uh, the co-founder who gets back to me and says, oh, no, we're not paying anybody and we don't need advisors, but you can bring spread the word about this United Health Coin, and we'll, we really definitely want to help you patients. Again, a middleman and a broker. Anybody who gets in the middle of trying to take money from you and the patient is a problem, and you have to think about them being a problem first. I had no interest in being an advisor for this company. I don't even know what this company is, and actually more I found out about it, it doesn't even sound that real or that's going to work. <clears throat> what I just wanted to know is how they are going to uh, exploit us. So if you have other people doing the same to you, brokers, other opportunities, run it by us too so that we all can learn together. And I guess that's my point of the day for the uh, DPC docs. And if someone can name the song, uh, from what I referenced early in this uh, discussion, I'd be uh, excited to see it. Thanks.